today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I received some interesting discussion with a user on Reddit called Gold Dot Asks Questions, and they put forward a interesting problem with my previous video on the subject of not being able to iterate upon those meshes. And I'll explain kind of what they mean by it. So here we have the chest armor, and if I just remove this, what we're instantiating is actually this prefab. But if we were to go in and change the mesh of the prefab somewhere else, say in Blender, and then save over that previous import right there, then it wouldn't actually update this because we have ripped this out and there's no longer any inheritance here. So as a result, it wouldn't automatically update the in-game model, it would just have to be manually copied back over like I did in the previous video. So my counter to this was to create a script that upon importing the mesh would break out any sort of pieces of armor out of underneath the skeleton. And this is pretty simple through the editor scene post import type of notes. Now I just did it as C sharp. I'm not exactly sure how to do it as Godot script. If y'all want me to go over actually how to program this, I certainly can. But for the time being, all it does is it takes the path of the file it truncates it so it removes the name, whatever the name is in this case, the name was character armor, and then it passes it to an iterate function that goes through each of the children recursively until it finds the node which is called general skeleton which is the generic name that is handled by all skeletons when they're imported. And any skeleton 3D is just called generic skeleton. So once you have that, you then go ahead and iterate through all of the children of that one, and I create a new packed scene for each one. But first I delete any that already exists, and following that I go ahead and create a new file. And so what that does is if I delete the chest armor right quick, then I select character armor and hit re-import. All it does is it creates a new chest armor right here and I have to refresh my screen. So this new chest armor is just the mesh, but it does retain the skin as well as any settings you do. So if I go over here and I drag this under general skeleton, it'll automatically adapt just like the previous one. And if I drag in say the sword metal and the sword handle. So now we have the mesh changes. And if we go ahead and hit play, it should run normally, but if we change something in Blender, for example, let's just go ahead and take some of these vertices right here, and let's just make it super noticeable. So if we go back into object mode, we select that, we select that, and we hit export. Over here, nothing will change. And the reason why is because of the way I'm importing and exporting these meshes, it sometimes doesn't reflect on a scene until you reload it. So if I close that and open there, there you go, now you can see the changes. And so that just automatically reflects upon the mesh. So now we can go ahead and have that same functionality that we would like, you know, that we would import a armor with the mesh and just unhide it. But now we can actually do things like completely remove it from the body and delete it and re-import it and things like that. Mind you, while this doesn't throw any errors, it sometimes has a little bit of jankiness to it. Sometimes opening and closing the scene just doesn't fix it. But usually upon hitting play, it will actually reflect within game mind you the that one is still the old one so i'll have to change that but i just want to make this quick video to go over that and to thank gold dot for the questions and the conversation it was actually a very enlightening conversation i hadn't thought about that and i'm glad i went ahead and went over it the script will be in the github just like everything else if you all want me to do a godot script variant of this or to just actually go over it and program it i certainly will but for now, thank you all, and I will see you all back here again on Wednesday for the normal tutorial.